I remember the Noid. The Noid. Up till 4.30 drinking, playing Dead by Daylight. See, that that would be a ton of sure. But like, like this, this kind of, kind of red. Oh yeah, that's right, I heard that. I think it was, uh... It was Dark Desta that came in and said that ship has sailed a, a little bit, hadn't it? Yeah. Alright. Do 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 <laughs> MTG Hey <laughs> that was for Jazzavar Alright let me go grab another grog I should have should have while I was up And the music for this game brings back some mad nostalgia. I know, right there, dope. Oh my gosh, I know, I love it. That that is one of the, the one of the reasons why I love streaming, is being able to to bring people bring people back. You know, oh man, random. But we heard of hangar communities. They're housing developments where every house has their own hangar. You could fly their plane from home. Wow, that's awesome. Want to go to the arcade now? I know, right? I miss the arcades too. I have not heard of hangar communities either. Old arcade, it was called Sam's. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. This one, let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can get, uh, get D-Man jealous. This one is called, it's from Attitude Brewing Company. It is called, um... It is called Mamba Mentality 24 Legendary Double Hazy IPA. This is uh this is this is the can right here. Thing is, know enough people who fly to know that owning an airplane is just owning a hole in the sky that you funnel money into. Oh man. I know my dad's got a plane too. Do know the racetrack communities really close to my parents' house, east of Palm Springs. Race racetrack where rich people can be able to live in, plus garage for all their supercars on a track. Oh geez, it definitely is a stylish can. Cheers, everyone. We do have a cheers command. Oh, ABV is eight point six. Eight point six. The same thing, but for planes. Boats and planes cost a lot to park and maintain. Gotta fly it monthly. Yeah. Alright. I always pick the, the yellow one. Alright. See how we do.
Oh man. Don't fly, but you know you need your your uh, to fly your plane once a month. Bob, I love the music on F Zero. They seriously need to come back with another F Zero game. I love the remixes of this too. The F Zero music, Big Blue. Oh my gosh. The only bad thing is, is paying attention to chat here. Some of these racetracks and stuff like that are already crazy enough without drinking. Final lap. Yep, keep airworthy. Plane itself needs to use the engine so it doesn't lock up its stuff. Yeah, next scene driving at 400 miles an hour is perfectly fine, especially the couple loggers in it. Exactly. Oh my god, well, for my done from Jackass. Oh my gosh. There we go. We did it. We did it. He made it. He made it. Oh. You know what? Th th this game is so much fun. Who, who, who has listened to some of the remixes on this uh, this soundtrack? Big Blue is probably one of my favorites. Loved F Zero. Remember Nintendo Power bragging how the N sixty four was sixty frames per second? Yeah, I know, right? Oh man, a bit. Yeah, I want a, a switch uh, F Zero. I know, right? Exactly. Some F Zero remixes in my collection. From yeah, OC remix. Oh my gosh, I know they're amazing. They're amazing. I just like I could like sit here and even rock out to like the the sixteen bit ones. <sighs> oh man, um, this is one of my favorites. I would like totally be a nerd, but I would totally listen to like the remix version of this while working out. This would be some good workout music. It's just like so like just like rock heavy. Pretty cool. Dun 
Between them? Are you crazy? Oh, we were doing so well. careful this last lap. was great about their final fantasy uh six remix collection it's amazing oh my gosh i know it is so amazing have spotify playlists of uh video game original soundtracks for driving i know right they're dope oh my gosh i love them i i know i've got some good spotify playlists too one of my favorites is video game study lounge they're dope i'm not sure if you're following that one but that one's got some good ones but yeah I, I, have you uh heard the final fantasy six grand finale out of Castlevania and Sega, the sound team music. I know Castlevania ones are amazing too. Anyone remember that racing game at the arcade with four steering wheels over the top view? Was that, um, was it Super Off Road? Super Sprint? Like, cop isn't watching. You might get a DUI. I know, right? <sighs> yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll race them. We will race them. Okay, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. <laughs> that emote, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is an awesome emote. Alright, let's spin the wheel like we were talking about that we were going to be doing earlier. Oh, another free giveaway, oh my gosh. Jeez, nice. Two, we spun two free giveaways tonight. Wow, explanation point booty, everybody. Everybody. I know, time to roll the dice. Oh my gosh, I was not a fan of this level. SC7 and 11 were your, were your favorite. What were they? What about if you played 4 and 6? Oh my gosh. The heck happened to most of my life. Ridiculous. No. 
This is this is gonna end badly. about that off-road driving game at the arcade like Super Sprint. Best Final Fantasy game is uh, Mario RPG. Changed my mind. <laughs> Final Fantasy is Mario RPG. Mario RPG is great. I really liked Final Fantasy 7. Actually, Final Fantasy 9 there, Tybalt, is actually a game that is on our poll right now. I did really enjoy 10. I, I never played 11. But 7, 7 was good. I'm in the middle of playing the 7 uh, remake as well, too. Yeah, thank you there, MTG. Yeah, we got the uh, the retro poll. That was all right. But uh, 6 and 4, my top shelf final. You know what, dope? The very first one I played was 4, which to me is always going to be Final Fantasy 2 uh, for the Super Nintendo. But uh, yeah, I that was the first one. And then I loved 3, which is 6. Those are definitely going to be my favorites. And then I'd probably say 7 would be probably after that. There. So, And then also, everybody, don't forget to vote in the Spoopy 21 as well. There's going to be the games we're going to be playing in September, October. First one I played was the first one. Oh, see, I, for some reason I never played the first one on the um, on the NES until much later. So, Dope Goaty, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. But my very first RPG I played was Dragon Warrior, actually. But, um, yeah, I didn't play the first Final Fantasy until much later. Love me a stable time loop story. Yeah. Be top shelf, too. Wasn't so buggy. I know, right? Oh, my gosh. I know. We actually played the NES version of it and stuff. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Like, I it was buggy. I did enjoy the challenge of it. But then they then I played the Game Boy Advance one. I don't think I've gotten all the way through the Game Boy Advance one yet, but like I started playing that one and I'm like, what? Like it's like they took all the bugs out and then they made it super easy. I'm like, where's like the normal mode? Like I'm not the type of person that loves to play a game for the very first time and put it on easy. Like on Resident Evil 3, it just baffled the heck out of me. I hated this, but I had to play the game on easy because I didn't want to put it on hard mode my very first time of playing. So I played it on easy, and I'm like, oh, man, I always love normal. Normal is usually what I want to put it on and stuff, but I just feel like the Game Boy Advance one, it's just, like, so easy. Like, save anywhere? Okay. You save right before the boss, just in case, you know, on... um you know, MP and stuff, you know, you actually have an MP, like, numbers and stuff like that there, whereas, like, you were only able to do some spells, like, once or twice, and that was it, you know, until you're maybe much later into the game. You know, and then I think that most of the weapons and everything else worked then, too. I don't know. Yeah. Taking out a strategic saving is a deference to the portable platform really changes. It really does. I mean, even if you just only had that and everything left everything else the same, like that was a scary thing. I mean, imagine going into the, um, oh man, what was it? The earth cave, you know, or even any of the caves really for that matter, like the marsh cave, go into the marsh cave and you got to like literally and stuff. Yeah, you could save it like right outside. You know, but then again, the items are, are pretty expensive, you know, and then you have to like go all the way through that and then and then and get the items and stuff and then come back out and save or go all the way through, get all the items, beat the boss and then come all the way back. I mean, it was it, it, it's almost like the difference between it, it reminds me almost like a Resident Evil game, the classic ones, you know, where it's like you were limited on saves and you had to be very strategic, strategic saving, right? Um, whereas, you know, you could save anytime, anywhere. Oh, 
you know what, here's the boss coming up. If you played the game before, you know where the bosses are. So you're like, okay, all right, I'm just going to save it right here. You could save as many times as you want. I'm, I'm going into this room. I'm not sure what's in this room, but I'm just going to save it. You know, if you die, guess what? You're only a couple steps away, and then you're back to where you were. <laughs> that, in and of itself, makes it easy. That's why I think in the, the remake, Resident Evil remake to remake that it just it made it easy i know that you could put it on harder the hard mode and stuff like that and then you're limited kind of on the saves but like give yourself unlimited saves i mean that's kind of like what adds to the scary part of resident evil to me like literally and stuff you're not sure a what's going to come after you and b like you're limited on your amount of saves you can't save just anywhere so it drives me nuts playing it with that way but it also adds to the the, the scariness, like you're scared because you, you know, you're not sure what's going to jump out at you. And then you're scared, like, when was the last time I saved? It just, it just adds to the entire atmosphere and environment. So, we'll, we'll keep going through probably for another, through our lives here. And then once we run out of our lives, then we'll, um, we'll maybe switch to a different game. This level was not one of my favorites. I actually did enjoy Silence. Silence is a good one, but track is crazy. But in this one, I it doesn't have really anything go good going for it and stuff. The music is okay. The track is horrendous. I mean, all of these twists and turns. It's just crazy. Some of these tracks are just just nuts. I mean, I have I struggle with this one even sober. And all right, come on. See if we could do it this time around. Of course, there's only like really one area on this track where you could use your super booster deal. The world. Oh, barely made that. Now the limit is five. And our power is down. Keep our spot. Not run into anything. Easier said than done. Third place, I'll take it. Also appreciate the digest. Uh, save system reason that you needed a spool of typewriter ink because you're recording a journal of everything you've done at the typewriter that part of the actual setting always earned point that's true 
That, that absolutely they're dope cody oh my gosh i love the resident evil series um the first and second one were my favorites played final fantasy on the original nintendo when i was 12 or so don't know don't know it any other way yeah exactly there fritz that is awesome i know fritz was the one that that requested it too so all right let's see who is our winner of the free giveaway tybalt oh nice Congratulations there, Tybalt. All right, number between 1 and 120 there, Tybalt. 1 and 120. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we do we have to do it? We got to do the sound. Everybody's want me to play it. Come on, type all. Type anything in. Come on. Come on, type all. Come on. Come on, type all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, right. Gotta spin again. Oh, man. All right. No. I know, right? Dope. All right. Dope Gordy, we know Dope is here. All right, number between one and one twenty. He's like, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make that mistake. Not gonna make that mistake. I'm here. He's like, anything, anything. Give me somebody. Give me anybody. Give me somebody here while I'm waiting. But uh, yeah, number between one and one twenty. Every number, any number on there except. 69. That one was already taken. D Man's favorite number. <sighs> what do you got? Which number? Pi. <laughs> I don't have a 3.14 number on there. You'll have to pick either 3 or 4. We're going to round it down. I'll take three then. You got it. Three it is. Ooh, nice. Congratulations there, dope. Uh, number three, you have won the game Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. Congratulations on that win. Much thanks, kind sir. Absolutely. Thank you for, for hanging out with us. So awesome to have you here. Definitely. And you know what? If you... Um, you're enjoying the stream and stuff tomorrow night is a stream you don't want to miss we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a modified party stream tomorrow we didn't hit the the, the part party stream goal but we're going to do kind of a mini stream i'm going to be going on vacation and stuff coming up here sometime within probably the next week or two but um so i'm not sure if it's going to be our last friday stream or not but i wanted to be able to take advantage of it it's like a three-day weekend coming up here um, just been a busy week, got vacation kind of coming up here. We finished Super Metroid, and I'm like, eh, let's have some fun. So, that one is. We we already spun the wheel one other time, and that one we technically spun for the raid. Because um, Scarlet just came in and stuff, like, right at that time. And then, um, and then we had that, then this last one that we just did was uh, the resub from Han Solo and stuff that was seven months. So unless we get any, unless uh, we get any other support. So it's an excellent game. Delighted to have it on uh, PC. Oh, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But uh, yeah, that is all the giveaways so far. Actually, it's all, is it already nine? Oh my gosh. You know what I might do? I mean, as much as I want to keep going too. We're going to have a longer stream tomorrow night, obviously, and doing the party games, you know. I might just, uh, you know, kind of call it after we play through some of this game, or at least if we wipe, and then um, and then we'll call it a stream, and then spend uh, 
more of our time tomorrow. Then at least I have more energy for tomorrow, too. 11 hours and 54 minutes to 9. Is it? <laughs> Mr. White, it's past seven. Uh, no, the, the the next one. Got another one that's coming around. Coming at the hotel and stuff at uh, 7.30. Asking for a wake-up call at seven. Mr. White, it's past seven. Midnight. That's right. I still can't believe like how quick we got through uh, Super Metroid too. I really thought that like five-hour stream we'd probably be beating it closer to to the five-hour mark, not closer to the three-hour mark. This one is a pretty straightforward track too. It's, it's like straight, um, straight shot most of it. The only bad thing is, is it the the wind? Final lap. At least it's almost like they gave you a little bit of a reprieve from like the last track. They're like, okay, all right, we screwed with the person and stuff last time, so let's give them a little bit of a break. Hardly any turns this time. Gotta wake up early and uh, go get an AC. Nice! Three hour Metroid clear. Learning to speedrun territory. Oh no, I, I didn't speedrun it. We were playing it for like almost 10 hours. Yeah, that was it was a casual playthrough. No, what? The wrong button. I love the music on this one. I don't like the track very much, but it's better than the sand one. Alright, well, maybe it's not that much better than the sand one. Gotta say, the music's good. Corners down here. Let's see if we could do, pull this one off. 
All right, we got got some good power. You know, we have three speed boosts. Oh gosh, that guy tripping me up. Got it. Oh man. Thank you there, MTG. Definitely. Did, did we notate how many deaths we had from before? I'm gonna roll some uh, video games with my buddy. It was a fun stream. Hope he'll be back when uh, on when we're done. Who's still playing? Not, I'll see you for tomorrow's stream. All right, there, Tyball. Also, Tyball, we missed you there, buddy. You won the giveaway. You had won the giveaway and stuff like that, but we had to re-roll. Re That's it for me. You gotta work in the morning. Y'all have a great night. All right, there, Weasel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. There, my friend. Absolutely. Hope to see you back tomorrow night, if you can make it and stuff there, Weasel Almighty. So, rest your mole. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah, did it. Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you there, MTG. Yeah, I know, right? You know what? We can keep the death counter the same, too, now. I'll actually even get us set up on the points. That's it for me. Gotta work in the morning. Have a great night. Be tuning in. All right there, Weasel Almighty. Have a great, fantastic night there, my friend. Oh, I guess I hadn't uh, gone through and beaten all of those on this one yet. All right, I will put change the currency to triple points. So for the last little bit of stream here, everybody will be getting triple points. Flipboard added everything in. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, you had won the giveaway and stuff there, Tybalt. Yeah, but we always what we always do and stuff too is I, I have a, a sound effect of me doing what we call angry Jeopardy, just because you know DMCA. <laughs> So my own my own edition of of uh, Jeopardy, and so um, and then we play that sound effect, and then the person has to type anything into chat and stuff until the sound effect's done. So, oh man, that was fun though. That was that was fun doing some. Um, oh, you know what? I actually did have. You know what? Let me see. I did have a best record if we broke any records. Got the best record there. Cool. Even on that one? One? Hmm, I guess I hadn't beaten Silence on this. <laughs> oh man. That was, that was a lot of fun though. That was definitely a lot of fun. Oh man. Played some random retro games, but that was, um, you know, after we had already beaten Super Metroid. We we beat that so quick. I gotta remember that and stuff like that too. When we beat, um, when uh, when we go through and beat uh, beat, beat Ridley and stuff too. You're gonna find some fiery beat. You know what? I wish I could. I don't think I have time. I don't think I have time. That that's gonna be a little bit too tough to get it delivered for tomorrow. Um, I do have the regular Bean Boozled, though. When, when I was moving my stuff to the game, they'll still be coming back. Well, thank you so much there, Ty. You know what? If you come back tomorrow, you'll probably have a good chance on winning. I mean, we'll, we'll do hourly free Steam Key giveaways, plus uh, winners and stuff of the games uh, get a pick out of Steam Key. Plus, we have the retro giveaway. Remember, it's 2,000 Grog Tokens. It's going to be 2,000 Grog Tokens this month only. And it's going to be raised to about three to three thousand um, starting next month for the big giveaways. So do uh, giveaways a lot. Yeah, we we do we do. And for anybody that resubs at twelve months or more, it's always a free giveaway. So and we usually kind of wait till it's towards the end of stream. So yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we do we do giveaways a lot. I mean, <laughs> ask ask D man. Ask D man. He's probably gotten like probably what a hundred games from me probably in the time he's been following the channel. I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Well, some people have gotten a whole new Steam library, I think, from everything. Let's see. I 
I've been here uh, just a wee bit and I've already been too. I know, right? They're dope, exactly. It is, it is true. I, you know what? It's one of the things and stuff too that I like to do is I, I love to be able to give back to the people that tune in. And that's one reason why I don't do just sub only giveaways. I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me whether you sub or not. I mean, if you sub, you get points and stuff like that a lot quicker. But, um, it, you know, you, you have maybe better chances on having an, enough points to be able to enter into some of the giveaways. But, you know, if you're hanging around in the stream every single time, you're going to have enough points to enter into uh, into a lot of the big giveaways. The gift that keeps on giving the whole year long, right, D-Man? The Jelly of the Month Club. Gift that keeps on giving the whole year long. <laughs> Weird. I've never seen that before. Didn't accumulate anything tonight. Wait, what? Is the only DL member on tonight? Oh, really? I kind of had another... I... But it didn't accumulate? You check your points and stuff before. Let me go back and chat and stuff. And... Last time you checked your points. 683, 54,910. Wow. You know you know what? Then again too, okay. Um You know what? I it, there there must have been something wrong with the bot. Like it was weird. Like my viewer list was almost like non existent. Um and now I think it just fixed itself. Like probably within the past hour. So, but that's that's so strange and stuff there, D man. Because you're right, it didn't move. You know, I mean, at, at least if that had to happen, I'm at least glad that it happened tonight, as opposed to tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night, there's gonna be like lots of points. Um, you know what, MTG? I I know it's gonna be uneven for everybody. Can we give 500 grog tokens to everybody that's here right now? We still have a good group of people. And at least if I give 500 grog tokens to people and stuff, especially if they're still the ones that have been hanging out here, they're going to get the points. But yeah, I think it was acting weird. And in the bot and stuff too. So I'm not sure if it was the, the bot or if it was Twitch itself, but... But yeah, that is that is weird. Need to add uh, a card to Twitch so I can donate. cool definitely want to friday stream stuff i know right it looks like it's fixed i know that's a lot it is a lot of grog lots lots of grog tokens exactly so there we go thank you there mtg thank you there my friend i wanted to report it since uh can't recall that before i know right i right i know right there d-man at least 500 points at least the people and stuff that are here. I feel bad for anybody else that was here earlier and stuff and took off and probably didn't get any points and stuff for tonight. But, you know, the good thing is if they tune in tomorrow night, they're going to get a lot of points too. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll kind of make up for it and stuff too. And at least, at least it's, at least it's showing up, right? Um, 54.19. Was it? At the points, four nine ten. All night, it wouldn't show me who was in chat other than Regna and V. I know, right on my end and stuff too. Okay, so then it was Twitch. Then, in D Man's points and stuff like that, didn't uh, didn't change, did it? So weird. And fifty four. Yeah, it didn't. See, from hand, <laughs> handing out those grog co I know, right? Exactly. They're like, oh, currency grog tokens is evil. That is so crazy. I don't know. 
I don't even know what to say. I mean, we even tried manually to give everybody the points. Stuff too. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I hope that whatever it is, it's fixed by tomorrow, though. Definitely. I don't know. It's been it's been kind of acting weird. I mean, only only right now did is it showing all the viewers. But I didn't think in stuff like that that maybe with uh, with that issue and stuff that it was going to be the um, it was going to be that uh, big of a deal there. Be back. Have a good one, y'all. All right there. All right there, tie ball. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It is definitely be a ton of uh, it definitely has been a ton of fun. We'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and uh, doing a party stream. So definitely going to be a ton of fun. Oh, there we go. We're looking forward to party stream. Yeah, from sheer curiosity. Yeah, I know. See, it didn't even work and stuff there on your end, too, there, dope, because you would have got 500 points. Not showing Nightbot at all. Yeah. Before the party stream. Definitely there, D-Man. Just want to know what happened to the first 511 tie balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Bad Bezos. I know. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fixed tomorrow because it doesn't look like anybody made much progress at all in the bot. So hopefully, whatever it is, hopefully they they got it fixed. At least the uh, the viewer list is working. Um, it's up there too. So all right, perfect. All good. Well, it was so awesome to meet you there and stuff there. They're dope, Goaty. I, I hope we're hope hope you're able to tune in and stuff like that at times, and we'll be able to see you back if you can, as well too. I mean, we're probably not. We're gonna probably be just doing. I mean, tomorrow night we're gonna be doing party games, and then next week, depending on what streams we have, we're just gonna be doing some random retro games, um, for the week. And then, um, and then when I get back from vacation, then we're going to be coming back to some really good long playthroughs. So we got Vandal Hearts coming up. We got our spoopy stream series. So we got games like Silent Hill 3 and um, Dead Space 2 on there and Alien Isolation. So a ton of really good ones and stuff that are on there too, among others. And then it sounds like towards the end of the year, we may be playing Pokemon Crystal. Um, and I know probably sometime early next year, we'll probably be doing... Um, uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube too. So those are some of the, the some of the games to look forward to coming up here and stuff in the stream. So it should be a ton of fun. This happened. Work in the field, so I know it well. Yeah. Streamlabs or Elements? Well, I know I'm using Streamlabs chatbot, but and the viewer list. But if you were saying there, MTG, that even the viewers weren't showing up and stuff like that on on Twitch's end, that maybe it was an issue with with Twitch, and then it was just moving over into the bot too Uber link is, is still left handed I know right <laughs> exactly so but uh, if you haven't seen Vandal Hearts it's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics but I think it's a real gem I loved Vandal Hearts one of my one of my favorite type of games like that style it's really a lot of fun if you haven't if you've never seen that game before you definitely have to tune in I mean the animations when you finish off an enemy is like it is like Mortal Kombat style. It is it is so cool. It's uh, it is it is amazing and stuff like that to see. But um, I think you know what? Let's yeah let's let's go ahead and um, I I think we should probably rate someone from Do their MTG because I you know what we yeah that's right we um we had rated Zombie. I'm still getting used to her new name. Um, and stuff there, but uh, that was Monday, so yeah, so we should probably do someone from Digital Odyssey because we may have an issue on Friday night. So, keep seeing welcome to the chat room popping up in chat, so something's still on. Yeah, it seems crazy. I hope that they fix it and stuff tomorrow night because I want people to be able to get those points. Definitely, I mean, no matter what, well, at least you'll have chances and stuff on getting free Steam keys. So, Definitely spooky get over here. <laughs> oh, man. I know right. I said Mortal Kombat style and here's spooky coming in over to spooky <laughs> But how are you doing there spooky? 
so awesome to see ya. Oh man, you rang? Let me see. Let's see. I think I got it. You know what? I think I'll 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 go ahead and uh play the uh that sound effect. I know I did. Here we go. Get over here. There we go. I wanted to play that one for you there, Spooky. Since we had the uh, sound effects turned off. All right. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. I know. I feel so bad having them turned off and everything, but I still got to go through all of them. You are welcome there, Spooky. But uh, it's it's so great to see you and stuff too. We were actually just at, uh, about at the end of stream and stuff. We we completed uh, Super Metroid, and then we were playing some random retro games. That was fun playing Pilot Wings. It's been a while since I played Pilot Wings and F Zero too. Love my lady. Do, do they really? Oh my gosh, I love it too. It looks so cool. We were actually talking about it in stream tonight and everything. You know, we were talking. We were, we were talking about Lady and stuff like that, and we're like, I was like, yeah, I think Spooky was like spot on and stuff with hers as well too. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so cool. But um, anyway, I probably better jump off. <laughs> what would you say? Yep, definitely. It was it was really cool. I really like it. I really like it and stuff there, Spooky. Definitely. I think I think you nailed it for sure and stuff on that cosplay. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. I mean, you, you've got some excellent, excellent and stuff, uh, cosplays and stuff that you've done on there. Stuff that look amazing. Um, but um, anyway, I probably I probably better jump off here and stuff too. As much as I want to keep going and uh, and hang out and stuff too. But, um, you know, probably better rest up for uh, tomorrow night. Because we're going to be going probably, we're going to be going probably pretty late. Playing some party games. I mean, we're, we're going to be doing a simulated party stream for tomorrow night and stuff playing some jackbox uh games games like fibbage um uh fibbage quiplash um the the murder mystery one the rap battle um um and then surviving the internet so just among others so just gonna be a ton of fun hourly st free steam key giveaways the loyalty retro game giveaway um also and stuff uh winners uh of each of the games the party games get uh, a free steam key as well too so it's gonna be a ton of fun gonna be doing bean boozled as well so a splendid remainder of your trips around the access of soul three everyone <laughs> awesome to see you and awesome to meet you there dope oh man and spooky thank you so much for coming on in as well too definitely our raid target is gonna be a fellow team member from um team uh digital odyssey and stuff uh, De uh deadite girl as well too and stuff is uh streaming some it looks like uh is it conan exiles i have not played that game and stuff yet but i've heard heard some good things about it so um definitely but we will be back and stuff tomorrow 5 p.m pacific standard time for a surprise pretty much a surprise because we really weren't even sure until we beat Super Metroid if we were going to be doing this. So I'll call it a half surprise. A half surprise party stream. A half surprise simulated party stream. But remember, loyalty, retro game giveaway and stuff tomorrow night. You definitely want to, don't want to miss out and stuff on that one too. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, you know, and it's the perfect way to end the week. It's the perfect way to end the week and to start the weekend. Just make sure you get your favorite grog. Bring it on over and stuff like that and tune in, play some of these fun games because it's going to be a ton of fun. So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you soon.